Hello everyone. We are Gail and Cindy from unemployedwoman.com and today we're going to help you learn to navigate your way through writing a resume. We are going to show you an easy trick to have your resume formatted and ready to go by using templates. Okay, we're working with Word 2011, but you can actually do any version of Word that you have. So I'm going to go to the bottom of our screen, and I'm going to get to the W and open up our Word program. Now I'm going to go to File, and we're going to go into the Template. So we're going to click New from Template. And then on the left-hand side, you're going to see all the different templates that are available to you on your computer. And we're going to go to Online Templates. So I'm going to click the arrow next to Online Templates, and we get a whole list here. And they're in alphabetically, alphabetical order, so we're going to go all the way down to Resumes. And under Resumes, it says Resumes and CVs. Uh, just so you know, CV is what they call resume in England. So we're going to double-click that, and then we have three different categories under Resumes. Okay. The first category you can choose from is Basic Resume. Basic Resumes will provide you with templates that are already laid out, and you need to enter your information. Very simple. The second one is job specific resumes. That is the one that we are going to work with. The third one is situation specific resumes. They are designed for recent graduates, entry levels, positions, or promotions or transfers within your company. But once again, we are going to go to job specific resumes. So, so we're going to double click job specific resumes and you're going to see a list of all the different jobs that are available to you to write in a resume. Uh, we have accounting, we have administrative, we have auto mechanics, drivers, medical, executives. So pick the field that actually is closest to what you are applying for. So we're just going to start up here and we're going to go into accounting and we're going to double click that and open, we have opened here now the resume for Jimmy Carter under accounting and I'm trying to make it bigger so we're going to go to the plus to make this bigger for you. Okay, and we're going to start at the top line and we're just going to double click over or, at, or we're going to just put our highlight there, Jimmy Carter, and you're going to put your name down there. It's already formatted for you, so it's bold, and the text type is going to be larger, so we're going to type in, I'll type in Cindy Lou, and then we see here on the left-hand side is the address, so we're going to just highlight that address and put our own address, 100 Main Street, Whoops. and then we're going to highlight the town that we live in, so we're just going to say... South, oh my goodness, hang on. South Carolina, we'll say. Carolina. And then we have our home number. Okay, on this resume, you will see that there is a home number and a cell number. Some people would like to use both of them, that's fine. If you only choose to use one number, you need to choose a phone number where you are reachable. So many people today are out and about looking for jobs or doing things. They want to be reachable, they'll only use their cell phone number. That is up to you, but you want to make sure when that call comes in, even if you don't want to answer it, at least you know that came calling, you see who the call is from, you might listen to the voicemail, think about what you want to say before you call back, but you're not waiting three or four or five hours when that call comes in so do what's best for you as far as the um, phone number you give that makes you reachable also on this particular resume there is no email address so I'm going to add that I'm going to add email address right we suggest you put your email address on there and then about the email that we want to do Cindy at gmail so you want an email address that is professional, professional. No, um, out late at night at Comcast.net. Most very simple, use your initials and your last name. Can't go wrong with that, but keep it professional. Now over here, you already have it. It says objective. It's already in the right format. So you want to say what kind of company you're applying for. So this says accounting position with a CPA firm. We'll just put accounting position with a nonprofit. Just so you just highlight and type right over it. Nonprofit organization. And then now we have summary of qualifications. Leave that alone. That's already there for you. And we want to put in what our qualifications are. Put in what your qualifications are and try to use good keywords. A keyword is something that is going to get you noticed. 
If you're not familiar with keywords and you need help with that, go online and Google keywords for resumes. Many things will come up to help you put some great words in to get you noticed. Yeah, okay, the next section here we have is experience. So you'd put the last job that you worked at, and this would be an accountant over here from 1990 through present. So we'll put, maybe we'll make an account, we'll make it staff accountant just to show you. I'm gonna use a accountant and just put staff, and it's again, it keeps the same text and it's the same font. And we'll put here 2005 through present, and then we'll change the company and we'll say Goddard, G-O-D-D-E-R company, and then we'll just say that it was over in South Carolina, we'll just put that, so we can delete. So it's very easy, you just highlight, delete, click, you can do anything you want right over the text and the format will remain. So we'll put South Carolina. And then this person was assistant of director of accounting with accounts receivable. And again, you can highlight and add what you want there. So we're just gonna say prepared general ledgers. Okay, and then we'll get rid of accounts receivable here. And there's that one. And then you can go down to your next job and then you wanna stay within the last 10 years of your experience. And the last section we have here is accounting. So we'll say here BS, you could say business, let's say if you have a business degree, business administration. And let's say you graduated in nine, uh, 1987. And let's say you graduated from Rutgers, you just wanna highlight what you did here and then put your own information in. And sometimes, just a little tip, if you are older and you don't want to call attention to your age, it, you don't necessarily have to put the year that you graduated that's college. Point. Okay, so that's up to you, but we'll you don't take want that to date out. yourself. Good idea. We're going to take out 1987. Okay, and we weren't on the dean's list, so we're going to get rid of that. So we just simply highlight and delete. And let's see, highlight and delete this so if we weren't vice president of the society. And where were we? We um, were in. We were in a fraternity, so we could say fraternity, fraternity president, let's just say that. Okay, now we've completed our resume. Very, very simple. Now if we just want to save our resume on our own files, we go up here to hit file, and then we say save as, and then up here where it says save as, it says Cindy Lou, and we'll say Cindy Lou resume, and then we'll say October or November, we're now 2011 just so it has a current resume for us and we hit save and it's that simple and then we want to say you're about to update the format which is correct we do want to do that so you hit OK and you're done and now you have your resume how simple was that there is no reason to panic if you've never done a resume before because word makes it simple with templates it's just fill in the blanks update them and there you go so good luck on getting that resume done and take advantage of what there is to offer out there we hope you enjoyed your lesson and it was informative to you on templates and resumes. Stay tuned for our next Job Search YouTube video to help get you back to work with Unemployed Woman.